For those confused seeing an F at the end of the more familiar 9700K name, you don't need to worry, it's a good thing, mostly. It basically just means that you have no onboard graphics on that chip, and by a happy little accident, you have better all-core boost and general turbo properties compared to its standard counterpart. Then, of course, there is Ryzen. See, the 3700X with its 16 threads instead of 8 you get with the 9700KF, and its £40 cheaper price tag, is actually a pretty interesting chip. In terms of performance, at least raw performance with stuff like Cinebench runs, when it comes to single threaded results, you would expect Intel to come out on top here, but actually the Ryzen chip does. It's about 7 points faster at 500 or 499 rather than 493 that the 9700K got, and the other important thing is that multi-threaded, that's a pretty significant difference. The 9700KF was looking at around 3,700 points, whereas the 3700X was seeing over 4,700 points. I think that's a 28% difference, so a pretty big deal. That trend continues with the Blender BMW test, where I was seeing the Ryzen chip take 175 seconds versus the Intel chip taking 236 seconds. That's a good 35% slower on the Intel part, which is actually a pretty big deal. Now that trend wasn't quite as pronounced with the Premiere uh, Pro 10 minute render test that I do, uh, which I think was around about 90% slower on the Intel side, but it's still a pretty big difference. But now we have to talk about gaming because let's face it, that's what you're all here for anyway. Let's take a look at some numbers. So starting off with Battlefield 5 at 1080p on ultra settings with DirectX 12 enabled, we're looking at the 9700KF here having a pretty decent lead over the 3700X. Now these are 1080p results, if you want to see the minimums and 1440p and 4k results do make sure you check out the website where you can see all of that. With Apex Legends we're looking at a bit of a reversal here, so the 3700X is a tad faster than the 9700KF, uh, with the 900K actually being a little bit faster than either, which is interesting to see. When it comes to PUBG, again on ultra settings we're looking at the 9700KF even edging out the 9900K just slightly with the 3700K. 700X being about 17 FPS behind, so a reasonable margin, although not massive. And then when it comes to Fortnite, we're looking at actually identical results on the 3700X to the 9700KF, with the 3900X and the 9900K having a fairly reasonable lead over both of them. But either way, pretty impressive results. So for gaming, it seems like they're pretty much tied. In some games, you're going to see the 9700KF walk away with a complete victory, and in other games, it'll be the 3700X, and in some games, they'll be basically the same. It seems like no matter which one you pick, you're going to get a great option, at least for gaming anyway, but of course, when it comes to productivity tasks, the Ryzen chip does tend to walk away with it. At this price point, I'm finding it pretty hard to recommend the 9700KF, because the 3700X is either the same speed or faster, it comes with a CPU cooler in the box that's good enough, whereas the Intel one doesn't, you need to spend a good like £30 to get a reasonable one that you could use on it, and the 3700X is a good £40 cheaper. Add all of that together with a few extra points that you might like to mention in the comments down below, it seems like a pretty hard one to recommend. With that said, I would love to hear your thoughts in those comments down below. What do you think? Also, let me know in the poll up above. Which one would you have if you could have either? Now, if you want to see more videos like this one every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, make sure you hit that subscribe button with a bell notification icon to be notified of those new videos. If you want to check out either of these CPUs, because I only mentioned UK pricing here, and it can vary depending on when you watch this as well, do take a look at the link in the description down below. There'll be two, one for the Ryzen chip and one for the Intel one, and you can see pricing you know, when we watch this. It will take you to your local Amazon store, you can see all of that. You can also check out the rest of the links if you want to support the channel. There's Amazon and Overclock UK affiliate links, which don't cost you anything to use, but massively help me out when you do use them. Or there's stuff like merch for hoodies or t-shirts like this one, or a load of other designs, and stuff like Patreon if you want to support me directly too. You can also check out stuff like Private Internet Access, which is great and cheap VPN, or Humble Bundle for cheap games support charity too, and if you want to see a review of this system, do take a look at it with the uh, cards at the end over there, and of course other videos too if you want to keep watching. Otherwise that is pretty much it, if you've got any questions leave us in the comments down below, and we'll see you all in the next video.